Alright, so for this problem we're looking for the required diameter of the rod. We are given that the rod is 1.5 meters long and we are told that it must not stretch more than 1 millimeter and the normal stress must not exceed 40 megapascals when the rod is subjected to a 4.0 kilonewton axial load. We are also given the modulus of elasticity which is 70 gigapascals. So we're going to have to test two scenarios here. So we have two criteria that we need to worry about. The first one being that the deformation is equal to one millimeter at the maximum. And the second one being that the normal stress is equal to 40 megapascals at the maximum. And so we're going to have to find two diameters using um, each of these different scenarios and figure out which one is the correct one that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by doing this first case with the deformation. So remember the formula for deformation is that the deformation is equal to PL over AE. And so we can rearrange this to solve for the area, which is equal to PL over the deformation times E. And so doing this, we have the deformation, we have P, L, and E, and all we're really needing to do here is solve for, solving for the area and then getting the diameter by uh, solving that. So let's go ahead and plug in what we know. So we're told that P is equal to 4.0 kilonewtons. I'm going to go ahead and change that to newtons. So that's going to be 4,000 newtons. And we are also told that the length is 1.5 meters. The deformation can be one millimeter at its maximum, but I'm going to change that to meters. And then our modulus of elasticity is 70 gigapascals, which is equal to 70 times 10 to the ninth pascals. And remember that one pascal is equal to one newton over meter squared. So I'm just going to keep everything in newtons and meters to just simplify our calculations here. And so solving for this, we get that our area is equal to 85.7143 times 10 to the negative sixth meter squared. So that's our first area. And now we need to solve for a second area based on the normal stress. And so remember the formula for normal stress is just P over A. So rearranging this, we get that A is equal to P over the normal stress. We already are given both of these values. Once again, I'm going to change four kilonewtons into newtons. So that's 4,000 newtons. And then our normal stress is equal to 40 megapascals, which is also equal to 40 times 10 to the sixth pascals. And remember that one pascal is one newton over meter squared. And so solving for this, we get that our area based on this case is 100 times 10 to the negative sixth meters squared. And so we have these two areas here. And now we have to figure out which one is going to cause failure first. So if the um, if the deformation exceeds one millimeter, that's going to cause failure. Or if the normal stress exceeds 40 megapascals, that's also going to cause failure. And so we need to focus on our largest area because um, as you see, a larger the area is, the smaller the value gets. So if we plugged in this 100 times 10 to the negative sixth into the deformation formula, since A is on the bottom, A is in the denominator, that's just going to cause our deformation to get smaller, which is good because we don't want it to exceed one millimeter. Now, on the other hand, if we took this 85.7 times 10 to the negative sixth meter squared for the area and plug that into the normal stress uh, formula, P over A, then that would cause our normal stress to exceed 40 megapascals since the area that we're plugging in is less than the area that we solved for for the normal stress. So in this case we need to take this 100 times 10 to the negative sixth meter squared for the area since that is going to be our case that will, um, if we have that area, it'll work for both of these two criteria. So now we're just going to solve for the diameter. Remember that the formula for that is pi over 4 d squared. And so rearranging this, we get that d is equal to 4a over pi square root. And so we're just going to plug in 4 and then 100 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared for the area over pi. 
and we are going to get that our diameter is 0 0.01128 meters and so that is a diameter of 11.28 millimeters because they wanted our units in millimeters and that's it for this problem